I feel so, I feel like a bad person. Oh, we got all four right online. There we go. We knocked his thrusters out completely. That was a kill assist. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're here checking out a new game for the channel, Galactic Junk League. No time for BS. So, Galactic Junk League is an early access game. It's not quite out yet. The developer sent me a code so I could check this out. It is considered a crafting arena fighting style game in space. If I had to, I don't know, if I had to put this in like a category, I would call this something like cross out. Essentially what you have is you have the ability to make damn near anything out of the blocks that you're given. If I go over here real quick to edit ship, for instance, we can go open up our block area and you'll see that there are a bunch of different types of blocks of all shapes and sizes construction utility abilities weapons and add-ons so the construction blocks are what you're building the base of your ship out of and there's all kinds man look at this you got square blocks and triangle blocks and it's like an isosceles block and a pyramid block and a tetra block and a beam and all kinds of crap you got armors down here over in utility You've got your thrusters and your gyroscopes and your energy generators. Each one of these has several different statistics that you can hover over them and find out, including a CPU, a size, a mass, and a hit points. The CPU is pretty important because in this game, every item that you add to your base ship costs CPU, and you only have so much. So you can't just have, like, you know, stack every single gun in the world on a ship. You have to use your CPU somewhat smartly. And then the size as well, you have to make sure that all things kind of connect. It has a mass, which can slow your ship down, and then has a hit point total. Because all these different things can be destroyed, which I thought was really cool. As you get shot in space, you don't just, like, lose hit points and that's it. Pieces of your ship can literally get disabled. I think that's really cool. So someone can knock out your thrusters if they shoot you from behind. Or they can knock out your weapons if they end up hitting your weapons. Or they can knock out some of your abilities. The abilities are kind of cool as well. So in this game, you get basically like special abilities. I don't know what to call them. They're really neat. It it's almost feels like something out of a out of an MMO or something like that. All these different abilities are things that you can have. You can add to your ship that give you specialty attacks and buffs and debuffs and all kinds of stuff. And there's ones that are specific for each ship class. Now there's four different ship classes, battleship, destroyer, cruiser, and frigate. And each one of them kind of like gives you an idea. Uh, it leans toward a specific type of ship. So battleship stuff here, as you can see, is all about like big, heavy defenses. You see, we've got like backup batteries so that you can get yourself back into the fight after your battery's all depleted from like shooting up your lasers and stuff. We've got defensive mode, which kind of like puts you into this real slow, like very, very tanky mode where you reduce a lot of the damage that you take, which is really cool. You got Gravitron Wave, which sends out kind of like a, I don't know, like almost like a snare effect if you if you have any uh, experience with, uh, you know, your different types of World of Warcrafts and stuff like that. And then you have a damage absorption. So this is all about either debuffing other enemies or kind of like increasing your ability to absorb damage i think that's pretty cool and then there's these things called common abilities which everyone has access to so these are kind of like generic abilities that you can put on a ship very cool you got energy overload it just kind of like makes you sprint so to speak you got a tactical jump which is i, I actually really like this ability this is like a really short short distance teleport um or maybe a blink if you've ever heard of that, a lot of like mage style uh, characters often have something like this. And then you have generator overload, which increases your energy regeneration for a couple of seconds. This is for when you're burning through energy, shooting your beam lasers and things of that nature. Now again, this is just the battleship abilities. Let's check out some of the let's check out some of the other ships real quick. Okay, so like a destroyer. So we saw a battleship was all about staying in the fight for a long time. But what about the destroyer? We go over to the abilities on the destroyer you're gonna see that a lot of this stuff is all about either increasing damage or things to that things to that effect so right over here we have artillery shield creates a protective shield around the destroyer which absorbs part of received damage this only happens when it's immobile though so this turns it into a mortar basically you have artillery mode which allows the ship to deploy into artillery mode, which increases its range, but lowers its movement speed. I wonder if you can stack these two. That's kind of interesting. And then you have Mark Target. Mark is very interesting. This is very Hunter-esque, I guess. This is something where you can put 
a debuff on an enemy and then everyone on your team gets increased damage to that enemy but you can only have it on one enemy at a time so that's kind of a way to help your teammates out next we have cruisers let's go ahead and get into the abilities of the cruisers here cruisers are kind of like uh, a little bit of jack of all trades so to speak they're very very like support heavy as in they do they do they offer a lot of support to the team not so much damage not so much defense but a little bit of everything to help your team out so here you have the gravitron beam which slows someone so that's kind of like your snare again you have the em wave this is very interesting i've used this before in battle and i kind of like this one it disables the weapons and abilities of everyone that's nearby and the effect range on this is pretty damn good 2500 meters is damn good in the game i think that's pretty cool you've got the stasis bubble which disables the weapons, abilities, and movements of one targeted ship, but also makes it invulnerable. So this kind of puts someone in, like, their own little sad timeout room. They can't do anything, but they also can't be hit. But it's a good way to lock someone out of combat so you can two-on-one the crap out of someone. Got Electron Field, which increases nearby allies' uh, energy regeneration. And then you have something called Permanent Shield. And all this does is just give you a shield. Uh, it's kind of like a passive ability. You'll notice a lot of them are, are aura. Some of them are active. This is just a passive ability. This aura type here, basically you turn it on and see where it says power 30%. It'll use up 30% of your power, but it'll give this aura to all of your uh, nearby allies all the time. And the effect range of 3,500 meters is damn good. Whereas permanent shield is just there. It doesn't cost anything. If you want to spend a slot for this, you just get to have it. So now let's check out the frigates. Frigates are all about speed and agility. But they also have some other abilities as well. Right over here, you're going to notice Frigate is shield. Very simplistic. It just makes it invulnerable so you can kind of get in and get out real quick. Got Particle Burst, which stuns someone. So it disables the weapon's abilities and movement of one ship. And then it has Weapon Overload, which increases the damage, but also increases the consumption. So very kind of like standard things like a little bit of a little bit of movement a little bit of debuffing and then a little bit of uh weapon increase there so there's so much to show in this i can't i don't know if i can go over everything but i at least want to go over the different parts of the game right over here this is what you can do in the ship editing area this is what it looks like and you can do damn near anything here i mean you're gonna notice I, right now, I just have a regular hull block. You can flip it all the way around here. But not only can you flip it around that way, you can also flip it this way as well. So you can do all kinds of crap to these blocks. You can flip them up and down and left and right and all there have you. Now, with your blocks, you can just start building if you want. And you can do all kinds of crap, like I said. I mean, you can, you can get this thing going as tall or as long as you want. The only thing that you have to watch is that not all the blocks can go anywhere you want. So you see over here in the front, we can't put these style of blocks here. But what I can do is right click and that kind of like removes the different platings and stuff like that. So I could, if I wanted to put blocks around this. Now you're gonna notice this is like our power plant here. If this gets attacked, the ship will just blow up by itself. Remember how I said that you can target different parts of the ship? I really like that. So if you wanted to, if you were behind it, like I said, you could target the engines and the engines will blow up for instance and it'll render the ship useless. Let's just check out some other blocks here. We'll go over to the phaser real quick. So you notice again, if you have space to put it, you can put all kinds of phasers. Uh, this, I mean, this is a horrible looking ship that I'm making right now. But I'm just kind of like, I just like want to show you kind of what it looks like. You can see you can turn your phasers all over the place. And do note that the position that you put your weapons means something in this game. I thought that was a kind of a cool little thing that they did for this. So if your weapons aren't facing the enemy and they don't have the ability to turn to face the enemy, you won't be able to fire. And not all weapons have the same arc of range, which is pretty cool. So I'm really interested to see what kind of different uh, blueprints people come up with for this game because there's so much creativity that you can have. In fact, let me go show you some right now. There's a thing in here called the shop. And this is pretty much what you would be spending your money on. So again, the game itself is free to play. But if you want, you can spend money and buy things called these space credits. And with the space credits here, you spend your money on them and you can go into the shop to buy things. So let's go into the shop real quick next to the hangar. And you're going to see immediately there's items that you can buy with those space credits. And when you buy this stuff, you get the ship and you also get like some little bonus stuff too. So this gives you a cruiser ship. It gives you like some premium rewards for three matches, just a little boost. And it gives you all these different items here that you didn't have before. 
So like these pirate lasers and stuff like that that we don't have basically, you know, they're just reskin stuff, but it's kind of, it looks cool, you know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those things where, I don't know, maybe like League of Legends and stuff like that, you're looking for new skins and stuff. But some of these, let me tell you something, some of these get pretty crazy. Um, right over here you can see there's all kinds of bundles and stuff that you can get, the ultimate pirate bundle where you can get all your different pirate Sharks and bridges and freaking different missiles, different looking missiles and stuff here. But one thing I want to show you all the way at the front because it's pretty cool is just how crazy some of these ships are. Well, oh, here it is. I wanted to show you guys this. They built a freaking pirate ship in space. That is cool. It's called Blackbeard. And this kind of gives you an idea of just how much creativity you can have in this game. I really like that. I like the fact that you can build pretty much anything you want. You never know exactly how well it's gonna work out. But damn it, some of like these pre-made ships look pretty sweet. Okay, so we've been talking about the ships for a while. Let's get into the game and do a little fun. Oh, before I forget, we'll just look at research too. Research is if there wasn't enough shit you could do in this game. Research is one of those things where what you can do is you can go over to any one of the blocks, yes, anything, everything from the hulls to the utilities over here, like the thrusters to the abilities themselves, and then of course to the weapons, and you can upgrade each one of these for a resource, or I guess I'll call it a currency in the game called junk. That's what you're fighting for, these little bolts here called junk, and those are what's going to power you to increase the levels of your different stuff, and all the stuff that you increase does something. So over here, if we go to the shield, you can see that's an, that's a um, that was an ability, and it decreases the cooldown by one second just by turning this up to level one. And then if we go over here, we'll notice that there's ten levels. So it also increases the duration. It gives you a little bit more hit points. Now th this is for everything. So there is a ton of customization since you can upgrade all this crap. You can kind of really focus on something, for instance, if you want your ship to do something in particular. And then over time, you can kind of like power level all your stuff. Look at this weapon overload over here, reduce cooldown, gives you a little bit more duration. Again, permanent shield over here, gets you more hit points. That's pretty cool. All right, now that we looked at all that, let's go ahead and jump into a fight. Now, again, I have a lot of ships here that you wouldn't normally get just because uh, the developer was kind enough to give this to a bunch of us to try them out so that you could see like some more advanced ships rather than just your crappy little rookie ship. So let's go ahead and pick something here. Um, out of all these, let's see here, what, what have I... You can see that like as you gain levels, and it started us off at level 20, so we're a pretty advanced level here. You get experience to go continue on to the next level. As you use these, one battleship gives you battleship experience for all your battleships. Um, and I kind of like battleships, so let's go ahead and do it. There's a big-ass battleship right here. We're going to take this out into the fray. This is going to give us defensive mode, backup battery, and then that tactical jump. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go right into a team battle here. We'll see if we can get set up. Now, it is very, very early in the morning, so I'm hoping I can find some opponents to fight. All right, we found a match here. Looks like it's starting at 35 seconds. So you can see right here, it's a three-on-three. -three. It's the Fist Clan versus the Zombie Hipsters. The Fist Clan. That seems oddly sexually inappropriate. Now, over here, again, the type of, the type of ship that we are is a very damaging ship. We have a lot of DPS, but we don't have a ton of range. If we hover over this, we can see our range is only 2,500 meters. That's not really great. And what we're good at is getting in there with all these hit points, activating our defensive mode, and trying to whittle down at the bad guys. Let's see if we can do it. All right, boys, here we go. Let's get going, and we're going to activate... Well, we won't activate our defensive mode yet. Where is the rest of my teammates at? Let's take a look around here. Now, to go up and down in this game, it's a little unusual. You use space bar to kind of cant yourself up, and the CTRL button to cant yourself down. And we can see it. There's some bad guys way over there in the distance. Again, don't expect too much from me. I'm not really the best pirate lord that ever was. You can see there is just a ton of stuff all over this board to use as uh, ways to kind of defend yourself and get behind. Let's go ahead and activate our defensive mode right here. You'll notice immediately it utilizes 50% of our total energy. Now, right down here, right there, you see that guy just took some pot shots at me? He's kind of coming around the corner there. There he is. Let's go ahead and light him up, boys. He's attacking us. We're attacking him. He's trying to go low. We'll go low as well. 
We just got blasted. Wow, he beats the living shit out of us. That's what I was talking about. Don't expect too much. That guy's pretty tough. Kind of wonder if he's got some upgraded stuff. Whoa! It started us right in the middle of all this crap. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can kind of camp upward here. They are all over us. Some tough bastards on this team. Right there. There we go. Start. I think we just took some of his uh, thrusters off. Oh, there's not much left to him. There we go. Let's finish him off. Bam! Eliminated. Go ahead and start up our defensive abilities here. This guy up here looks like he's pretty damn injured. Oh, he's down. I think he's down. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> All right, let's go find the rest. It's three to three right now. So it looks like we're kind of equal in amounts. Now, remember, we do have the ability to increase our energy consumption if we need to. We also have this teleport, which I haven't used yet. I don't really think I want to. Where's our support at? Kind of behind us. All right, let's start moving up a little bit here. Now, I do want at least some ways to defend myself if need be. Oh, I just got targeted. All right, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and... Oh, wow, we just got... Bla Holy shit! What took us out? I don't even know what that was. That was a lot of damage all at once. I don't know if everyone just focus fired on us or what. Holy crap. I was going to say, let's go ahead and use our teleportation ability. I haven't messed around with that yet. Let's go. That's right there. We can put where it's going to position us. And then, boom! Right into battle. This guy's coming pretty close. I think you should have stayed away. All right, jerk. You dirty bastard. Taste my lasers! Whoa. Go ahead and cant ourselves here. There we go. Yeah! Astronomical just took one for the team, so to speak. Now, we're real slow right now. But luckily, our razor, our, our razors, our lasers have an excellent arc of fire, if you notice. They, we can fire these almost all the way around our entire ship. That's one of the good things about the energy of these lasers. Let's go ahead and put our shields back up, because I can already see some guys are starting to come in. This guy over here just teleported in. All right, let's get right on top of them, boys. Here we go. Whoop. <laughs> oh, man, he was already down. One of our own guys looks like he took him out real quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and take this off real quick so we get a little bit more speed. I'm kind of hugging this wall over here. Got one guy coming in right on the side. Do you see him sneak that out right there? Holy shit. There he is coming right over on the side here. I think we're hitting a lot of his weaponry. You can also zoom in with the right mouse button. Let's see what's going on here. We can use our battery if we wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. Yep, we can just barely catch him. Let's go ahead and teleport in. He won't know what hit him. Here we go. Whoop. Hey there, buddy. How's it hanging? <laughs> I'm going to take off our defensive capabilities just so I can move a little bit better. Actually, screw it. I'm going to keep them on. We're running out of power, so let's go ahead and jack our power up right there. Oh, crap. We just got overloaded. Come on, baby. Give me all my energy back. Oh boy, we're losing it, we're losing it. I think it's okay though, we still have quite a bunch of hit points because that's what we're good at, man. We are good for taking a freaking pounding. Oh my god, we are getting slammed from the backside. That sounds dirty. There we go, that's another man down. Let me go ahead and take this off so we can move. I think a couple of our thrusters may have been damaged. Oh, I can barely move this poor battleship. You poor slug of a battleship. We are doing a ton of damage, oh shit. Whoa, boy. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we couldn't. I was going to say, hopefully I could teleport in time, but we got freaking nuked from, from orbit beforehand. Nine to nine, baby. It's getting real close. There's only a minute left in the game. It's all about who can get those last few points. This is a pretty evenly matched game. I really like that. That's pretty cool. This poor bastard over there looks like he's taking some damage right down here. I see a couple of guys just kind of lingering. Let's go ahead and put our uh, our shields on, zoom in here, see if we can see anyone. That guy's starting to stray from the pack. So we might want to think about hitting him. Wow, what? look at the speed. Holy crap. Right there. He must be very lightly armored, though. Which means we can get some pretty good shots in. Man, that was another big hit there. It must be some sort of special weapon. I know there's like an uber gun or something like that. We're probably a perfect uh, we're probably a perfect candidate for that Uber gun though because we have so little movement. Our poor guys are getting the living crap kicked out of them. Let's go ahead and teleport over to this jerk. 
get a little bit closer here. There we go. Take off his engine so he can't go anywhere. There we go. We just de uh we what's it called? Made it so that he couldn't move. You know what that's called, right? Oh, we died. <laughs> we disabled his ship. That's what I was trying to say. We disabled his ship, which this guy did all the work. What was everyone else doing? Astronomical, holy crap, that's pretty cool. I think that that was the guy that was like really fast flying all over the place. I wonder if we can get into one more battle. Let's try something else. It's a draw, but we still got some junk and some XP, which is nice. Let's go ahead and do something different. All right, boys, we got a match here with our destroyer. So we're gonna get to see how this thing fares in battle. Looks like we got quite a full team here too. How many people do we have on this team? Seven? We can click on each person's uh, ship and kind of see what we've got on our team. Here we got a tiny little, like little wedge here filled with a bunch of cannons. Over here we have another blocky style of ship. I think I'm the only one right now using an advanced ship, so to speak. Ah, this looks like almost like a robot holding a weapon. I kind of like that one. Sana over here using the old uh, tuning fork design. Don't want to get in the middle of the tuning area there. Plum, what do you got on you? That looks like the rookie ship. Another rookie ship. And then we are up against a whole slew of destroyer style weaponry, it looks like. Look at the big bullets there, Gauss style weapons. Oh, I didn't get to see the rest of them, son of a bitch. All right, well anyway, let's go check this out. Again, there's four maps in the game right now, but the game's early access. I'm really hoping for a bunch of more maps. I'd like to see like a map that's like, I don't know, like inside of a, a giant battle station or something. I think that would be cool. Now remember, our three abilities, we have the abilities to like overdrive our energy just to regenerate it. We have the ability to mark a bad guy so that everyone gets bonus damage. And then we have the ability to turn into artillery mode. We're using the Uber Cannon. Uber Cannon does a shit ton of damage, but the problem is that the Arc of Fire is garbage and it's very, very slow and it uses a lot of energy. So we're gonna have to make sure that we turn appropriately. Let's go ahead and put ourselves into artillery mode here. Now again, that's gonna slow us down substantially. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. Our range on this is very, very good though. We've got splatter effect over there kinda hanging out. He's going on past. Oh, right over here, we got someone down, someone downtown over here. Let's see if we can arc down. We need to arc down if we want our guns to be able to reach him. See right there how it's showing only a couple of the guns in, in play? That's what I'm talking about, about how, how limited our arc of range is. We got splatter over here coming kind of right there. See if we can get some shots in. We did. We nailed them. Uh, let's see if we can arc upward a little bit better here. Right there. Those were big hits. We took out a big portion of the middle of his ship. Kind of nice. Let's go ahead and mark him as well. That's going to give everyone extra damage on our team when they try and attack him. He's really flying around right there. Look at that gunner ship. We got him, man. Let's go ahead and mark this guy now. And let's go ahead and overcharge our weapon. Bam! Right in the backside. We are flying right now. Holy crap. We're also taking a ton of damage from behind. Let's see if we can take this guy out before we go down, though. Oh, we're getting hammered. We're getting hammered big time. We're hitting the guy in front of us, though, big time. Hold on. We're regenerating a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, we got him. We are really, really injured, though. Oh, God, are we ever injured? Let's take ourselves off of artillery mode so that we can move a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and bank downward here. You can see half of our ship is missing right now. Those are the damage effects I was talking about. Very, very cool. Now, our guns pretty much only fire straight ahead, so we have to bank hard and turn around if we want any chance in using them. You can see one of our abilities has also been knocked out from all the damage we sustained. So again, depending on what depending on what part of your ship gets hit, you'll face repercussions for that splatter over here. We may be able to arc. We may be able to arc and hit him. Right over here, half of our guns are down. Oh boy, oh, we're getting the shit kicked out of us as we run into the side of this ship here. Oh God! Oh, we're taking damage big time. Hold on, go ahead and arc downward. There's one fire there. We gotta watch out though because our bullets are real slow. Right in the backside. I think we just took out half of his thrusters with that shot. Let's try this one over here. Oh, our guns can't face. That's what I'm talking about, how the, not, the guns can't always face. 
Oh, we just got, we just got freaking blasticated. We don't have any weapons left or anything. We don't have any weapons left. You can press K to blow yourself up and that'll respawn. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Got one guy in range, pretty close by. Actually, he's right there. Ooh, that was a terrible, terrible shot by me. I feel, I feel like a bad person. Oh, we got all four right online. There we go. We knocked his thrusters out completely. That was a kill assist. Above us, there's someone. He's shooting down at us right now. That son of a bitch. Oh, you dirtbag. Ah, we've been hacked. It's one of those damn buffs. Or debuffs. There we go. But once the Uber Cannon gets into position, baby, it will light you the freak up. You saw that right there. The score has been put back to normal here. We're not using our, um, our ability to get extra damage on someone. I have to remember to do that to help our team out a little bit. There's a lot of men in front of us here. Well, a lot of men, a lot of people, I should say. Let's see, who's close enough over here? There we go. This guy right over there. Ta Tom Mark or whatever his name is, One March. I don't know, hold on, let's, let's bank downward here. Looks like he's going straight down. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Let's go ahead and take ourselves off of artillery mode because he's going kind of under us here. Artillery mode, slowing us down pretty substantially. Actually, our ship itself is not really the most flexible. Right over there, he just appeared. All right, let's see if we can nail him. Let's go ahead and bank a little bit right about here. Ah, oh, we got hit by the freaking rocks. Son of a bitch. That was so, that would have been so good too. Oh well, we got a couple of guys over here. Um, can I get my effect on him? Oh, I can. Let's go into artillery mode. Wow, he just appeared right in front of us. <laughs> he teleported right in front of us and freaking killed us. Only 48 seconds left, oh shit. We've gotta do as much damage as we can, guys. Go put ourselves into artillery mode because we've got all kinds of people right next to us. Um. Well, maybe I'll go a little bit closer before I get into it. Yeah, the artillery mode slows you down big time. Big time. Are we taking shots across our freaking bow? Is this is our own man shooting at us? Uh, no, we can't bank down on him. We can definitely hit this guy, though. All right, we just barely grazed him. We didn't really do that much damage. I think he's getting ready to teleport. Yep, he sure is. But I think we knocked out most of his weapon systems, which is kind of good. Oh, we've overloaded. Right there. Oh, he's right on top of us. He's right to Oh, shit. Oh, we came in third. That's pretty cool. We lost, though. The Fist Clan took it. The zombie hipsters, which is where I was, came in a distant, distant second. Fist Clan, excellent job. Had a great time with this game so far. Very cool game. Some people likened it to RoboCraft as well. That's probably a good uh, analysis. I always thought Cross Out for some reason first when I thought about this game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this first look at it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it would be cool to kind of like get in there and try some different ships out, especially some of those ships on the shop. I really want to get the pirate ship and throw that in there and see how well it does. Guys, hope you're enjoying Galactic Junk League. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.